I'd like to do a little song for you people that are just starting out. It's a real simple riff, but it's a real quality song. We'll start out with an open E song. Basically walking up the neck. Count that off. One, two, three, four. That's all I'm doing. And adding a G7. It's that simple. Speaking of one note blunders or wonders or whatever you want to call them. This is a little one note thing. It's one simple thing. It's just one note. All I'm moving is one finger. Open, open, finger, finger. Notice how all the strings are open except for the one that I'm hitting. We're right back to that boogie again, aren't we? Which was the basis of all rock and roll. You know, rock and roll is nothing more than blues speeded up. Blues is the basis for just about all rock and roll. So if you can do your blues licks, you can play rock and roll. As you can see, we got a new section here. This is what we're calling the round table. We're going to talk about current events, and of course, we're going to have a little number too. And my guest today, down here at the end, He's going to be beating a little bit of bongos and drums. Uh, his name's Tom Musso. Of course, I don't pronounce it right, but he don't care. He's just a drummer. And then we got here, this is my good buddy, Jerry Arguello. Arguello, I'm sorry. It's Arguello. I just found this out. See, I've been spelling his name wrong for, I don't know, about 20 years. It's probably in my 30. phone book wrong. And uh, this is Motown Angel. And together, this is uh, Rocktown Productions. And what they do is they take care of all kinds of things for bands. If you need something taken care of, you can contact him uh, on his website. And I mean everything from portfolios to uh, computer needs, uh, anything that you need, this guy can get it for you. So give him a holler. Uh, next to me here, we got Jerry Michaels. And we used to play together way back in the day, oh, a band called Ultimate Rush. Um, now he's in a band called uh, Osmosis. 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 Okay. Osmosis. Cosmosis with a C. See? <laughs> with a C. C with a C. <laughs> there we go. Well, what we're going to talk about today is just some current things, and uh, we'll go through everybody and see. Uh, now there's a new band out, I understand, called Chickenfoot. So, what do you guys think of uh, this band? Super group, for Super sure. Super group. Yeah. So, consists yeah. of Joe Satriani on guitar. You got um, Chad Smith, Chad Smith on drums, from Chili Peppers, right? And, and you got uh, you he going. was actually in a band uh, back in the day uh, called Dan. Toby Red. Oh, yeah, from oh, Detroit. Oh, yeah. Before um, he was with the Chili Peppers. Um, okay. He was making a lot of noise in the yeah, town back then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you got Sammy Hagar and Michael Anthony, both uh, top-notch people. Um, I only heard one song. I liked it. I'll probably go out and pick up the album, see how it sounds, and uh, maybe learn a couple songs off it. Who knows? Um, what else going on? Anything oh, yeah, else yeah. going on? There's another band, a new one, Midnight Rendezvous. Oh, yes. You guys was telling me about it. Yeah. Right. yeah it is. Really? Midnight Rendezvous. Wow. These guys are yeah. young, right? 20, yes. 21 year old? 19, 20, 21. Uh, oh. They're from the area. Uh, they have great stage presence, uh, they have great music, and they're very energetic on stage, and the, to see their show, they're very, very impressive. Okay. 
And I would suggest if you ever see a flyer anywhere around, uh, go check them out. It's be worth your, the time, definitely. But they're around town. They're around town. They're brand new. Okay. They've only played maybe six or seven shows, but uh, they're touring. And uh, they'll be opening up, from what I understand, for Great White here pretty soon. Okay. That's a good gig. It's a great gig, and yeah, uh, we're looking out. forward to seeing that show as well. Yeah. Well, we got to get them on the music room. Yeah, we'll oh, get yeah. them in here and, and, uh, and listen to them play and see how they sound, huh? I would compare them to Cinderella and Poison, and some uh, say Kiss. Yeah, you know that's but now that you like say that. Back, now that you say that, I, mean, I definitely remember. Okay. That uh, that sound because mm -hmm. you guys played me that that one song from mm -hmm. them, and and I kept thinking, man, that sounds a lot like Kiss, you know. And uh, they're, yeah, they're trying to bring the rock and roll back to which it seems like today's rock and roll doesn't have the melody and the soul that it used to have at one time. It's a lot of the screaming stuff, which is in for a lot of the younger kids, but. Where is the real music again? Especially, you know, Detroit is known for their rock and roll, the melodies, the harmonies, the guitar leads, especially. You yeah. know, Ted Nugent, you know, Jim McCarty, um, all these great guitars that came from Detroit. Oh, yeah. well, it all just the rock seemed, bands. Yeah, it just seems to have all disappeared in, mu in today's music. Yeah. And, um, the latest guy, Kid Rock, playing this weekend with uh, last week's guest. You remember last week's guest? We had Stellar Drive. And uh, they're out there. They are ready, make, moving up the ladder and playing with uh, Kid Rock this weekend. So you want to go out and check that show out. But uh, since we got these guitars out and my man's got his little bongo down, we're going to do a little, uh, <coughs> well, what do you say? We do a little BTO? Sounds good. Let's do it. A little BTO. All right. So let's do it. Count us off. Jump, man. <laughs> boys and girls that's gonna do it for this episode i want you to come back and check us out next week we got a brand new show we're getting out the electrics 
We're going to have a drummer come in and he's going to go through, tune the drums, show you how the drums work, everything you want to know to get the best drum sound possible. See you next week.